Well, first of all, hello and welcome to our lovely little uh, stage. We've only got one of your BAFTAs <laughs> here because I presume it's too difficult to carry all five. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Five. Yeah. It is five, right? Did it we is, count that yes, right? Yes, it's five. Five BAFTAs. It's unbelievable. What are you going to do with five? That's too many BAFTAs for one man. <laughs> I know. Like, I I've been waiting 20 years for one, and now we've got five all come at once. It's unbelievable. Like unbelievable. buses. <laughs> buses <laughs> yeah, and yeah. BAFTAs are like the same thing, <laughs> apparently. But, OK, are you surprised by the reaction? Because, obviously, you know, Hellblade came out, and obviously we'd all, like, in the games journal circles, we sort of, like, read a little bit about and been told a little bit about what was kind of happening, and then we actually played it, and we're like, oh, my actual... This is, this is an experience that we've just never sort of seen before. Did you... Did you anticipate this reaction? No, 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 uh, absolutely not. In fact, when we finished the game, we, we dissolved the team and put them on other projects because we weren't yeah. planning for it to be a success. Um, and um, we were preparing for a huge storm of controversy because we dared to tackle yeah. uh, mental illness with a, you know, a warrior with a sword. And it felt like things could get quite uh, you know, dangerous. Mm. It's, um, okay, someone who, um, like, I've suffered from depression kind of all my adult life, I found, like, playing the game, like, some of it felt, like, a little bit triggering, but in a good way, in that sometimes when you try and explain, like, what you hear in your own head, not to the point where I hear voices, but, like, your own kind yeah. of inner monologue in a sort of slightly lesser version, and some of the stuff that you would say to yourself, and you're always, like, too afraid to express that out loud because you think, if I actually told someone what yeah. kind of stuff is happening here people would worry or they yes. think you know and actually being able to 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 put that out there and show people just like a fraction of like what that's like to understand it is hugely powerful hugely powerful <laughs> yeah and and we realized this when we um started to get emails from people um uh, who do suffer and um for them for a lot of them they they felt like just having something out there that they could almost look at from the outside in yeah um was was a cathartic experience and they used the game as a as a way to explain to their loved ones partners you know to get at least get an idea let them have an idea of what they're going through so um that aspect of it was um that that was mind-blowing that that floored us in, in a way that you know we we didn't know would happen yeah um and the truth is like we thought we were making something very niche and it turns out we haven't made something very niche because it's there under a the skin of, people, of everyone. A That's lot of people suffer with, you know, anxiety and depression and all these different things. And the very, very nature of them is that the it's almost like a weird self-perpetuating yeah. virus. It makes you never want to say these things out loud. It makes you want to become insular. It makes you want to cut yourself off from people. Yeah. And it does take you to a dark place. And that was obviously the one thing that really resonated with me was, you know, the kind of idea that if you don't, do the right thing and if you kind of balls this up that's it and there's always that fear I think when you have kind of mental health conditions that like you know that the end of the path if it goes the worst possible route is that yeah. and that plays on your mind an awful lot and that idea that you have to kind of do things in the right way and kind of take care of yourself and not let these things kind of take over you is wow it's that is you know I mean we're, like we're so used to in games you know having things easy and we can respawn and start again and that's fine but life isn't like that no and this is like I mean Professor Paul Fletcher who's um, a neuroscientist he encouraged us to explore those ideas because I think it works as a fantasy because with a fantasy you just have to accept the rules of the game, of the world, mm. right? In a way that reali in reality, you, your prejudices allow you to reject ideas very yeah, easily. Yeah. So the fact that we put out all these things in the game that you have to accept, you have to trust because you have no other option. Um, I think it sort of helps. I mean, it's never going to be perfect representation, but it sort of helps the idea of that, 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 that repetitive negative thought that mm. really grinds you down and you have yeah. no escape from. Um, but one important thing about the game message of the game is that the the illness and the symptoms can be separated. That often the illness part of mental illness comes from the way people are treated, not mm. from the actual experience they're mm. having. And that was a revelation to me. And I hope that message go you know comes through to people. 
I think it absolutely does. Um, I just want to say personally, and obviously for everyone at BAFTA, like a huge well done. It's so well deserving. And hopefully now, you know, we'll get to see some other perspectives, other game makers be inspired by your story and, and tell some uh, tales and different perspectives of life out there because that's that's the gold. That's the gold of gaming, right? Thank you. I mean, it, I, it, honestly, it, it doesn't get better than this. This is, this is the <laughs> pinnacle for me and my career. And, and I'm so proud of the team and everyone that's worked on this. It's, it's just brilliant. It's, you know, a thank you to everyone. Amazing. Well, look, big congratulations. Go enjoy the party. You deserve it. If you're not super drunk later, I'll be very upset. <laughs> right. OK, thanks so much.